Hello students, welcome. Welcome to MGM Educations. We are going to study about the machineries of government, the legislature, the executive, the judiciary. Okay. Now the first is union legislature. Oh, legislature is the law making body. Right. That is equal to the parliament in our union and assembly in our state. Because we have a federal setup, we have union legislature and state legislature. Let us now discuss about the functions of union legislature and a little bit about the theory of legislature. Union legislature means the powers and functions of parliament that includes Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Ready? Start. See students. Legislature divided into two types, unicameral legislature and uh, bicameral legislature. <clears throat> Where there are two houses, that is called bicameral. For example, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha of Indian Parliament. And uh, where there is single house, that is said to be unicameral. For example, Odisha. We have only assembly and the second house, the council, is not there. But in Andhra Pradesh, there are two things. So they have bicameral legislature. So then we have to study about the function and union legislature. The function of legislature is lawmaking. All the laws necessary for, carry, for carrying out the administration, the laws are needed and it is created in the House of Parliament. That is the union legislature. Let us know some other key functions of legislature. Number one, it makes and repels law of the state. Two, it amends the constitution. Three, it approves the budget. Four, it controls the executives. Five, legislature investigates the functions of high officials and passes resolution for their removal and six it elects the president the vice president of india right all the activities of law making is being done here let us have some idea about the two houses Lok Sabha, the house of the people Rajya Sabha, the Council of the States. See, Lok Sabha is the biggest house here of Indian Parliament. Right? Its total strength means total members of Lok Sabha happens to be 547. Out of them, two are nominated by the President. The rest all, 545, are being elected from different constituency of India. Okay? So far, Orissa is concerned. 21 seats in the Lok Sabha are reserved for Odisha, right? <clears throat> now, if you think the term of Lok Sabha, it is five years. After five years, there will be a new election and new formation of government. And the chief of Lok Sabha is the speaker. He is called the chairman, right? Who has a lot of responsibility to maintain discipline of the house and to carry forward the works of the house. Similarly, let us move to Rajya Sabha. It is the upper house, we say, or the council of states. It consists of 250 members or seats, you can say. And out of which 12, 12 members are nominated by the president from different fields, arts, social service, science, etc. They are called as the Anglo-Indians. Right? And here, the term, it is said to be a permanent house because there is no dissol dissolution here. Only the members will change. One third of the members retire in two years, in every two years. Yeah. And if the question is asked, what is the tenure of the Rajya Sabha members? We have to say six years. Right? <laughs> okay. Now, we will study. Now, who is the chief of Rajya Sabha? Answer. 
the vice president of india who is said to be the ex office co chairman of rajya sabha which article deals with this na article 89 of indian constitution right okay next let us have a brief notice about the thing how laws are made by legislature actually what happens uh see when a law is prepared before that a bill is prepared and it is you know introduced in either lok sabha or uh, rajya sabha right and after that this is studied three readings will take place reading 1 reading 2 reading 3 if it is approved by the lok sabha then the bill will move to the after the approval of rajya sabha then the bill will move to the desk of the president when the president gives his assent then the bill becomes an act in this way we prepare the bills and there are two types of laws uh, bills ordinary bill and you know financial bill or money bill we say here president has certain power for ordinary bill he can reject it but for you know money bill the president cannot reject it because it upon which the entire developmental works and process of government depends on okay now the question is suppose due to any disturbances in the bills what will happen you know a joint session of the parliament can be called by the president of india and remember who presides over this joint uh, meeting or session of the parliament it is the speaker you have to remember it for bit questions <laughs> okay then what happen even after the conflict votings will take place there the lok sabha is said to be more powerful than rajya sabha for its numerical strength right then we will move to the second most important thing question that is how does legislature controls the executive see how you have a parliamentary form of government in the sense the parliament or the union legislature you can say controls the executive by three means number one by asking question number two by passing motions such as no confidence motion adjournment motion okay and uh, cut motion etc third by collective responsibility all the ministers are subject to responsible to the house house of the people for their every act of omission and commission this is the system we adopted because we have parliamentary form of government so far financial power concern the third point we can say that uh, lok sabha or the parliament's main thing is what introduction of money bill it is introduced only in lok sabha in this regard rajya sabha has no power remember at best it can hold the bill for 14 days but then it is bound to move for the consent of the president yeah even i told you earlier that uh, the president can also hold the money bill okay next the fourth point is judicial power <coughs> of the parliament or you can say union legislature it has the power first one it has the power to remove the president and vice president through impeachment act motion we say that is also and it has also the power to remove the judges of supreme court and high court <coughs> by the same procedure so this comes under judicial power of the parliament the other powers of uh, you know indian parliament is constituent power it relates to amendment of the constitution or old law into new law electoral power means ele <coughs> election of president vice president